what is going on you guys it is Brandon from geek mode gaming and yes the countdown has begun <laughs> out of that certain list so let's begin with my top 10 now this is my top 10 wish list you know this is the top 10 things that I want to see fixed or different in 2k14 Alrighty guys, so number 10 is a, a fix that not just myself, but many, many, many YouTubers want to see in 2K14. And hopefully, if we don't get it in 2K14, we will get it in 15. But, uh, more jersey options. I played on a few different teams. I played on the Thunder, the Suns, played for the Bulls for a short time, and the Kings. And, uh, again, home and away jerseys. Give us more jerseys, 2K! <laughs> Number nine is very easy to talk about. The freezing the replay freezing glitch. Replay glitch. Replay. I hated this glitch with a passion, and um, this has been happening since 2K11, 2K12, 2K13. And uh, it, it sucks because, like, you know, my boys will come over and I'm like, oh, dude, I gotta show you this play! And then it. it it freezes and I look stupid and uh, I understand that all games have glitches and I understand that the 2k people work hard but uh, come on fix this glitch address it in 2k14 I hope it's already been addressed and they already fixed it months ago that's just my wish I hope this glitch gets fixed the number eight on my top 10 wish list is more deep of a dynasty mode now I hate to compare these games because you guys know me, I'm a ginormous basketball fan. But um, when I used to play NBA Live back in the day, I was hooked on the NBA Dynasty mode. Now I know that was before the my career was invented, and there wasn't that many game modes in NBA Live, but I'm telling you guys, I would go to town on NBA Dynasty mode, and I would take it so personally, and I would, <laughs> you know, when I was a teenager, like, it was my whole life, as sad as that sounds. Then my career came along, and I was like, okay, you know, I'll do that, but I want to try the association mode, especially with, you know, the year that we're in. It's much upgraded than, you know, the NBA Live series. And uh, I kind of just felt like after a few seasons, it just kind of was, you know, a rotating ball. And uh, just, you know, it was the same old stuff over and over again. I would like to see more, you know, more in-depth of a dynasty mode. Like, you know, more player chemistry and and just more involvement. I feel like they need to give you more options to do. Um, I know that that might be tough, but that's just something that I would like to see. And uh, I feel like, you know, Dynasty mode should be a, a new mode that can take over 2K, but not necessarily overshadow my career, if that makes any sense. I would love to see a more in-depth uh, Dynasty mode or association mode, as they call it. Now this next one for number seven, I sort of put two and one. Uh, the broken double team and the leaning layup glitch. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. At first, I, I kind of didn't pick up on the leaning layup glitch. The leaning layup glitch is, let's say you go in the hole with Chris Paul or Kobe Bryant and somebody bigger bumps into you. It's like your guy's like Michael Jordan is trying to fade back and pop the shot. And 90% of the time, you miss. And... It's definitely a glitch that I think was picked up later in the game. I, I don't know if they intentionally meant to do that, but I, I don't like it. it. It really became a problem for a long time. And even if it was your player out of 99 all maxed out, this glitch was still happening. And uh, it became kind of annoying. Now, the broken double team um, was something I picked up right away. If your guy has a 99 dribbling or even a 90 speed or a 90 quickness and they go to double team you, the glitch is so broken uh, you're gonna blow past them like it's nothing and um, I don't know it's it's tough to talk about the broken double team but that's the point the broken double team is so broken the double team is broken in 2k uh, 13 and I would like to see it fixed I would like to see it more realistic to where you know if LeBron James and Wayne Wade come and double team me that I pick up the ball or even lose the ball now, to an extent, but I'd at least like to, you know, pick up the ball and have to pass it to a, uh, another teammate. I'd like to see those two things fixed. Number six is tough to talk about, but there's always room for improvement, as, as bad as that sounds. <laughs> uh, 
more coaching options. Now, I know that the game gave you a lot of coaching options, especially in my career. Um, you could kind of encourage your coach to uh, give you more minutes. You could encourage your coach to cut somebody else's minutes or tell them you're not getting along with the player. But I feel like they need to extend that. Um, I thought it's interesting. If you make a six, uh, if you make a six four point guard, sometimes he'll put you at shooting guard. Maybe in 2K14 you can be like, Coach, what are you doing? Like, I'm not a shooting guard. Uh, especially when you're in your first year, and let's say you're at like a 70. And if you get moved to a shooting guard, you know, they're going to put you up against Kobe Bryant. Like, what the heck are you doing, coach? I can't guard Kobe Bryant. I mean, that's cool and everything, but, uh, yeah, that, that just needs to be fixed. And it doesn't just apply for point guards and shooting guards. This happened with power forwards and centers for some other people that I watch. Um, it's, it's interesting. I, I feel like they need to get more in depth, and that goes along with the whole association mode that I was talking about. I feel like maybe they can do more in-depth coaching in association mode in my career. I'd love to see that. Number five is a short one, but uh, something that I didn't pick up until just a few days ago. So thank you for the YouTube community for to, to talk about this and for me to pick it up. Player tone and weight. Uh, why can't we be like a Shaq, you know, type of weight or tone? Why can't we be a Michael Jordan, you know, type fit or tone? Basically, that's it. I want to see more of a tone in the player. Like, if you want your guy to be a big, you know, center or a big shooting forward, you should be able to do that option. It seems like it's limited, and I would like to see more of that. And that goes on the depths of more of an in-depth game. 